so dark. Oh man. Hi guys. I'm Julia. If you're new here, I run a blog, Julia Marie B, where I focus on fashion and style with an infinite emphasis on maximizing your wardrobe to make the most of your pieces and your budget. Um, today we are going to do my rule of five, which essentially it's five ways to style a new item before you purchase it. So before you purchase a new item, you have to think of five different ways that you can style this new item with items you already own that are already in your closet so that you know if this new item fits into your lifestyle and your wardrobe. Today we, oh, I have them on my feet. Hold on real quick. Today we're going to style um, these Gucci Princetown loafer. These are dupes from Amazon. Um, these have been, this pair and then the pair that are at Target have been insanely, insanely popular um, on with my Instagram, Insta Story fam. So I'm doing this for you guys because I know that you want ideas to wear this shoe because you've all gone out and purchased it. So we're going to style this shoe five different ways right now. So for our first look, this is actually what I wore today. Ignore my hairs back there. We went with an oversized wool an oversized black wool sweater tunic length i bought it a size up so that i could wear it with leggings so that it would cover my butt and my vagina and then i have on these let's get close these velvet um le uh, leggings from yummy um you can also do that and then of course the shoes you could also do this with leather leggings <clears throat> but it's super cold today so i went with the velvet to help keep me warm and cozy so this is the First full look, and then I'm gonna accessorize with a coat and a handbag just to give you the full, it's like 30 degrees today. So I'm gonna give you winter, and if it's not quite cold enough, two looks. I'm not necessarily, you get where I'm going with this. Okay, so now we have accessorized with a uh, crossbody bag and a long wool overcoat. This coat is thrifted. Um, now the leggings are, <laughs> the roll of fiber is really supposed to focus on bringing pieces that are already in your closet. I will not lie to you. I did buy my shoes um, in the this summer because I knew that I wanted them. This coat I purchased last winter. I thrifted it from one of my favorite um, local thrift stores. My handbag I just purchased a month ago. Um, the leggings were sent from Yummy, which I actually really love these leggings. And um, the sweater is a really nice wolf sweater that I purchased this season from H&M. I'm like obsessed with this sweater. I wear it all the time because it is warm and cozy and that's all I'm looking for right now. But anyway, so this is our full look, fully accessorized with our handbag and the coat. You'll notice I do have my handbag inside my coat instead of on top of it. <clears throat> this can be good or bad. I kind of like it inside if you're gonna be out running a lot of errands. If you wear your bags crossbody, if you don't wear your bags crossbody, this won't work. But I like it because my bag is close to me. I know where it's at and I know you're not robbing me. That's just where I, that's what I do with my life. Are you robbing me? Can you rob me? Oh, you can't, I'll do it this way. That's just how I do things. Um, also, when you have a short crossbody and you try to layer it over your coat, it kind of won't fit or you don't know where your bag is at. I don't know. So it's, it's definitely a personal preference, but I've been doing this bag because the strap is short. I've been doing it, doing it inside coats. This one fits fine over the coat. Just wanted to clarify that. Let's move on to the next look because I've been talking too long. Goodbye. You see my, my hair is just like falling out now. It wasn't dirty enough for a bun and trying on clothes is like making it just fall out like crazy. Anyway, so we have, just ignore it. So we have another all black look. This is literally, this set is the first thing I styled these um, slides with. It's a really, it's like thin, but it's thick at the same time. It's a knit set from Zara crop top with um, high-waisted bottoms. I am, <laughs> I look so stupid. I am only 5'4", so I think they still have this in stock. I know I've seen the pants in store recently, so I'm not sure about the top. Um, the joggers are still in store. If you're not, if you don't wanna do the crop top, but you want a nice knit jogger, these are really good. I highly recommend them. I think there's like three or four colors. I bought this beginning of the season. It was one of my first purchases, I think in like August. Um, I love this look together. If you wear a good over coat and you're inside, you'll, you'll still be warm, you'll be fine. Or get a, a bigger sweater that the midriff isn't out. So now we have our layered with our faux fur coat. This is literally one of the best purchases I've made this season. I'm probably gonna say that about everything, but this is probably one of the best purchases I've made this season. Every time I wear this in public, I get stopped to if people ask me about it. It's always men. Men love this coat and they are not hitting on me. They're genuinely interested in the coat. Um, so I paired the knit set with um, 
the fur coat and just the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I bought this bag to wear with all of my fall looks. So I'm gonna pair it with all of my fall looks unless I see another bag more suitable. So this is the full look with the coat. I had too much caffeine, so I can't breathe. And this is the full look with the coat and the bag. Yes! I wore this recently on my vlog. It's probably one of my most favorite looks of the season. It is just a black turtleneck bodysuit. I don't know how to turn to the side. I'm so bloated. I can't even, I can't even suck in this how bloated I am. Anyways, black turtleneck. It's a bodysuit with um, slim boy jeans and then the Gucci dupe loafers. I, I can't believe, I can't even show you. I'm embarrassed. This turtleneck is actually from Yummy. So it's a little bit of a, I don't even know why, it's a lot of bit of a shapewear. So it will hold you in, keep you smooth. Notice there's no, um, whew, notice that there's no um, pudging, what do they call it, muffin top. I don't typically have muffin top to be, if I'm being completely honest, um, I don't typically have muffin top. But with me being bloated, I'm like a day out from my cycle. Definitely a concern of mine before I try this on. But because of the shapewear of the um, bodysuit, it keeps me in, smoothed out and in. This is um, the base of the first look and then we're gonna put on a really dope coat and a bag. So now we've thrown on my favorite faux fur coat and my bag of the season, uh, the, uh, the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. And this just gives you a full idea of what this would look like with a coat and a handbag. Still very casual and chic. You're very like classic chic underneath. <laughs> and then plow with the coat. Of course, if you're not this extra, get yourself a basic like black coat. That would still look super duper chic, very clean and crisp. A nice black coat will do you just right if you're not ready for an oversized fur, faux fur coat. Okay, we have another all black look because I'm doing a lots and lots of all black this fall and winter. Um, I still have on the same bodysuit from the previous look, but this time I paired it with 90s joggers. So these are just regular sweatpants. You can obviously do any type of jogger that you would like <clears throat> with the uh, Gucci dupes. And then you have very sleek, chic little, um, that's what I need to do. I need to let, lock the brightness up. It's so, what is, what is it gloomy today? So the lighting isn't great and I didn't bring out any lights. Anyways, um, but yeah, it's like a super sleek look. You're, what is it? Business on the top, party on the bottom, business on the foot, business and a party on the bottom. So it's a total like, it's a situation. Um, you can do any style joggers. I just went with a casual pair because that's how, what I felt like pulling out of my closet right now. I will put this on with a coat. <laughs> it's not gonna be a special coat. It's just gonna be another coat. Oh, I can do it um, for, uh, anyways. I'll put this on with a coat and then show it with you, show it to you with a handbag as well. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a little something different. So I went with this Velvet Bomber. It's from Members Only. I believe it's two years old. I'm not sure if they're gonna have it this season or not. And I went with, just to give you some variety, um, this camo tote that is from Madewell. This is, uh, I think, two years old as well, the tote is. Um, this is it's very tomboyish, but you know, I like a little tomboy swag. I don't know why I just said swag. Just leave me alone. Just give me some grace, okay? Um, it's definitely more tomboyish. I see someone wearing this to class if you are going to a coffee work date. Uh, if you work from home or if you are able to, whatever you're doing with your life, I don't know. Um, but if you needed to run to Starbucks or the cute coffee shop around the corner to get some work done, some reading done, this is a really cute look. So for our final look, we just have a tracksuit. You don't need an Adidas tracksuit. I do know they're a little pricey. <laughs> um, but... You can do a track suit, a sweat suit. I think that the pink throws it off a little bit, but if this were an all black set, I think it would look so freaking cool and chic. Yes, I said cool, I'm old, okay? Old people say cool. Um, but I think I love it. Um, I would super love it if I had a black set. I'm gonna show you with a bag and coat. Just give me one sec, casting on the coat, but I'm gonna show you with a bag. So I just have this pale pink uh, Rebecca Minkoff mini Julian bag that I've had for about a year. I've had the Adidas set for about a year. This color pink, the shade of pink isn't available any longer, but the black set is available. And now in retro, I wish I may purchase the black instead of the pink. <laughs> but here we are with the pink. I, I wanted to be extra when I purchased it. So, and we are. Um, thank you guys for joining this week's Rule of Five. If you liked it and would like to see more videos similar, please give your girl a thumbs up. Yes, I just went on wonky on you. And subscribe. And we will be back next week with another Rule of Five. And it's going to be something fall winter. So make sure to check in for that.